hello everyone sorry so there was some issue that's why i restart my video hope now it's okay uh, if you are here just say me a hi today we are going to learn this open style abayas if you are here just say me a hi so we can start our today's lesson i will show you how you can take a measurement and uh, hello if everyone is here and thank you so much for your response on my previous videos hello everyone is anybody here so in today's lesson we are going to learn how to make this basic uh, front open abaya and uh, you can see different styles you can make from the same pattern and uh, first i will show you what measurement you require for these styles and from one pattern you can make like three four different styles so let me show you what are the measurement we require for this uh, abaya design and uh, um if you are here just please leave a message so i can start today's lesson and uh, i will show you how you can make a um, front open but before that we will start with the we will start with the how to take the measurement so see this is the dummy i have and let me show you that uh, measurement that you require for this type of front open avaya and then i will show you how you can make your pattern if you are here just say a hi so i know that you are here and let me post my link on the facebook as well can you hear me is my voice is clear please tell me so for this type of abaya you need uh, first the shoulder measurement that you can take from the back side like from this point to this point you can take uh, from here to here because this type of abaya we need the actual measurement the other draping styles that we will do in uh, upcoming um, lectures uh, mostly have a free style but this type is actually of your own own um, design step in this design you can see here they increase your this um, shoulder um, shoulder part and then start the sleeve attach attaching so but here you can see this is the exact the body size the shoulder line is exact your body size and armhole is also fitted in your uh, according to your body size and this is the same and this one also you can see from starting it's a, it seems exact the fitted size of a person so that's why we need the shoulder measurement from the back side so whatever is your shoulder for example you have here to here it's um, 15 so you can take it like this okay and then you need the chest measurement but obviously in the chest measurement for abaya we uh, take it loose so for that we need here like this 
but we will add extra inches that how much we want it to lose so you can uh, make it like this so for example your chest size is 36 you can make it 38 so here you can make it loose but it's all on personal choice and after that you can make it the straight flare, uh, flare style but uh, if you are more fitting because some people want uh, fitting in the waist part also then you can take your waist as well otherwise we need that uh, shoulder chest and armhole uh, measurement and obviously the total measurement so that's how we we will do it and um, I'm just posting my link to the Facebook group, Facebook groups. Okay, so now come to the uh, pattern making part. I will show you a small size pattern, but you will understand it uh, because I already uploaded videos of basic pattern making. So you will get an idea. So for this, you can see here, we need We need a shoulder measurement guys if you are here please uh, leave a message okay so for here we need a shoulder measurement okay and after that hope you guys can see here uh, yeah so after that we need the armhole armhole is depend again on the uh, choice if you want to make it loose otherwise just uh, do it just divide by four minus half inch formula i explain in my one of my video how to make the basic pattern that's how you can take and then again like this okay so this is the upper part till here the like uh, till your waist part and till here and after that it will go like in a flare so again it depends how much uh, wide you want from the down part as you see in this style here is wider so you can take it and also you can uh, take it according to your hmm, according to your fabric okay so here you can make it like this something like this okay and uh, after that i will show you how you can make a uh, cutting open i will show you on the fabric i also have fabric uh, this black fabric i have okay so that's how you have to start here you have to take half inch upside here one inch down and then you can make your shape of your sleeve okay if if you are not sure about this part you can see my um, video how to make basic pattern and you you will understand but here i'm telling you just take half inch upside one inch here down and half inch outside that's how you will get a slant uh, line because our shoulder is slant it's not straight okay and then make here a curve so this is the basic thing that we required for this open type of abaya now we will cut this pattern and start cutting our fabric so fabric cutting is a little bit different for front part and for the back part so and also i will show you how you can cut the sleeves here on pattern i'm only going to cut the back side and guys in further uh, lessons i will also show you the bigger size but here just this is a starting of this course so better we start with the small size and then i will uh, especially when i will do the draping part i will show you in the bigger size of my size see that's how you have to fold your fabric and uh, let me cut it from here 
and guys if you are here please leave a message so i don't feel that i'm alone here and see that's how you have to cut it i'm just separating the fabric and hope the voice will not wake up my kids but anyways Now this is our fabric and this is our pattern okay and for front open abaya first we will cut the back side back side will be same you can cut first back side or after that back side but for the front side we have to fold it from here like this hope you can see here like this we have to fold because this folding will go in something like you can put the buttons in the front open or you can put zip or if you want to make it uh, I mean you want to leave it as it is after folding this we have to place it we will place our pattern in center of this opening something like this okay and now you can pin up it and mark it and then we will cut it okay so let me just cut it from here hope you can see here i will start from and also um leave the um sewing allowances and pin up it properly and then start cutting i'm doing it on a fast forward mode because i'm assuming that you know all the steps because i already to, uh, teach you how you have to trace your pattern and sorry guys i can't find my pins but anyways okay yeah, one pin is here and hope you can see here now you can cut your uh, fabric leave the sewing losses and cut your fabric one inch we need the sewing losses but in uh, abaya that have the overlock if you have overlock you can do it um half inch also you can leave because in overlock we don't need much uh, um much swing long okay so see that's how you can cut your front part this is front part fold from here and after removing your pins also cut from here your neckline Okay, now I'm going to see this is the folding part so that's why we have to separate it from here okay so now you can see this is the two parts one is this one is this and here the folding so for folding you have to fold it and immediately mark here the folding part so you remember that this is the folding part of our um, abaya so this type of abaya is for the front open and also you can put here the zip i will show you how you can put here the zip so this is very easy if you already know the basic pattern so the front open is very easy so i start with the easy pattern and then we will move in uh, our upcoming classes towards more complex design see that's how it will 
on the front if you want to put a zip here you can put a between a zip here and you can join it like this and if you don't know how to put the zip i already upload a, a video about how to put a zip if it's not clear uh, you can ask me i will uh, make an other video how to insert a zip so here you will insert a zip so this is our only front uh, pattern and for back side you need to do it same as we did in our previous um, lesson the simple pattern because the back side will be same i know for some of you this is uh, something that you already know but for beginners these things are even they uh, they are confused about these things anyways so here we don't need to fold it this is now i'm going to cut the back side and after that i will show you how you can stitch this and guys if you are here please leave a message so and also please um thumbs up so youtube will know that uh, yes you are liking my video so it will benefit me to make more videos it will encourage me and obviously more people will uh, watch my video so please at least if you don't want to comment at least just press the thumbs up mess, uh, button and don't forget to press the subscribe button so next time i will upload a video you will get a notification see that's how you have to take it the uh, back side back side neckline is less but again it's personal choice but in mostly a bias it's not very deep so after that you can see here we will open it and we will join it see this is the back side and now these are two our front sides one and the second one two okay so see that's how it will look after stitching and uh, now we have to stitch first the shoulder from here to here here to here and then the side lines okay and after that you can decide here that you want to put here the buttons or you want to put here the zip and also you can do uh, the piping uh, let me show you here you can see this black is a piping uh, or bias this this type of roll you can you can cut bias uh, by yourself otherwise the rolls are available in the market so you just have to uh, attach this uh, with the um, abaya okay and uh, let me show you the other see here they have uh, they do the same thing but here they attach here i mean they cut till here the different color so you 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 get the different look okay now the see uh, the other style here only difference is that they increase your shoulder length and uh, shoulder width so here it is going down of your shoulder you can see here it's going down of your shoulder if you can clearly see here the line of the shoulder see this is the joint of the shoulder so it's going down so here it's big and this is the bias that you can uh, purchase from the market and you can attach it on otherwise you can cut your own bias and you can attach it now come to the sleeve parts so let me show you how you can cut the sleeve for sleeve we need a um, so hope you understand till here i'm not getting any message anything but anyways okay so please leave a comment or at least press the like button so i will continue my course uh, because uh, i will teach you different styles in this course and uh, also the stitching part but uh, initially i'm doing with very simple things and then i we will uh, move to the complex things okay 
those are also not complex but see from here you uh, suppose this is your starting point so now here from down we need a chest divide by four inch um, um, line that is three inches down three inches is standard if you are not sure about this uh, sleeve pattern i have a video already that uh, i explained very well how you can make your sleeve pattern so that's how your sleeve will look hope you can see my marker is also not because uh, my kids leave the cap open and it's dry anyways hope you can see the lines and uh, now come to the designing part if you want this type of thing here they do the armhole also big and here also be uh, wider so here you can increase your uh, width also but if you only want your front wider there is different styles like if you do it like here and then you will go it from the middle of your um, from the middle of your uh, sleeve you will go something like this so see it will it will give you a little fitting on your uh, this elbow part and then you will go like this so this is a one style or otherwise you can leave it as much like this okay and uh, also the cutting part is also different okay now my baby is wake up and on just i will show you quickly the sleeve method and guys please give your response that uh, so that uh, tomorrow also i will come live and uh, but it depend on your response see that's how you can take it like uh, straight if you want or if it's straight you can do it like this if you want fit it from your uh, elbow you can make it like this okay and let me show you if if you have less fabric like uh, <clears throat> you have this much fabric only but you want the wider sleeves so what you will do is you will fold your fabric in a different way i will show you see normally for sleeves we put our fabric something like this and we uh, put our draft like this but if you want the wider width in less uh, width you can take it like this cross <coughs> sorry guys you can see here now the width is increased from here you can see here this is the increase and here is the normal size whatever is your size but from down you can increase your width let me show you after cutting this uh, this design i'm showing you that if you want the um, see very wider if you want very wider from the front in the same width you can get that effect you can see from from starting it's the same but from end it's wider that usually we have in some abaya designs so you may notice that from start it's the same you can see here the results that's how it will look okay so guys your response is very important please at least a thumbs up press the thumbs up button so we will continue this lesson see that's how it will look after stitching you can see here the wider is it is only by folding it a little different way and that's how it will look after the stitching so the, here is a stitch and here is a stitch and then you will attach sleeve with this if you don't know how to st uh, attach uh, sleeve with your uh, abaya just leave a comment i will show you uh, each and every step by step but uh, it is very important that you will give me response uh, because uh, otherwise 
I will uh, feel that I'm alone here and you are not uh, you have no interest but anyways in uh, yesterday videos I got very good response that's why I come today alive live and i uh, show you this uh, style this is uh, one very basic style but further we will continue in uh, more styles so just press the thumbs up button and don't forget to press the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell icon so every time i will come live you will get notification okay so any question you can ask me i think till here it's uh, um it's enough yeah i will show you next in next uh, video i will show you this type you can see here this this drapping this part a uh, type of drapping you can see so in next video i will show you this type of abaya how you can cut this type of abaya but uh, you only not cut uh, i mean you can use this pattern for other style of dresses this is waterfall look here so I will show you in next uh, lesson, but leave a comment that yes, you want to learn this style as well. So anyways, uh, press a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye bye.